I'm Jack Swanson. I'm the uh, chapter coordinator for the Appleton chapter of Guitars for Vets. I got involved with Guitars for Vets about a year ago. I was driving back from Madison after ice fishing with my son, and we had a pretty good day, and I heard about it on the radio. They were interviewing uh, one of the um, instructors from Milwaukee on public radio, and he was talking about the program and played a song, and I thought, wow, this really sounds great. As I said, I'm a retired physician and I'm not a vet myself, but I had a lot of experience with veterans in medical care through the VA system. I was always real appreciative of the time and effort that the vets gave to me and helped me out with my education. And so I love to play guitar. I played since high school and um, I called the, the chapter in Green Bay and mentioned that I could be available to help with instruction. And they said, you know, we really want you to start a chapter in Appleton. And I was like, hmm, okay, we'll give her a go. <laughs> so we did. Still a new chapter, but I'm excited about it because uh, what I've learned so far is the healing power of music. And our mission really is to provide that healing power of music to vets. So the Guitars for Vets program is free to any veteran. Uh, and it's comprised of 10 lessons. And then at the end of the 10th lesson, we're uh, given an award guitar. It's an acoustic Yamaha guitar. It's a nice guitar. And uh, we're hoping that by the end of 10 lessons, a, a vet has a song or two down and knows some chords. With the idea, though, that you're always welcome to come back and get more instruction, more lessons. But what we found out is that uh, vets that have uh, any kind of issues at all are found healing through music. And so the guitar is a way to uh, express oneself and to help with uh, things that might be affecting vets, PTSD or uh, any kind of trauma related things. But that isn't necessarily something that one has to have to be in the program. Just any uh, vet that's been in any conflict or any kind of veteran's experience is welcome to come and get some lessons. I have another instructor, Tom Berry, who works with me and uh, he's a fine guitar player and knows a lot about instructing and we look forward to uh, getting as many vets as we can through the program. Ten weeks actually goes pretty fast so we almost always have openings and uh, we have the capacity to grow with more instructors too so we're hoping that uh, the program continues to take off and we can get as many vets with guitars in their hands as possible. I'll have to say that I started with trumpet in high school and uh, my dad who was really a big trumpet guy bought me a Doc Severinsen trumpet, really way over my level because I wasn't very good. And I traded my trumpet in for an electric guitar and an amp uh, as the day I graduated from high school. And that wasn't real popular with my dad. So, <laughs> But I've been playing guitar ever since. And what I've learned is that I taught myself, which is really hard. So we skipped through a lot of the uh, unnecessary things that we don't have to go through. So we can give the vets a lot of tips that speed things up quite nicely. And you never stop learning. The, the fun part about guitar is that you can sit down and play and you just feel better after you've been fooling around with it for a while, learn some songs, learn some techniques, and just about every time I pick it up I learn something. And there's tons of videos and stuff out there too, so guitar is just a cool instrument to, to learn the beginning uh, parts of it and then you can just take it from there for the rest of your life. The National uh, Guitars for Vets and Guitars for Vets itself got started in Milwaukee, so it's homegrown. But 12 years ago, uh, Mike Nettesheim was uh, in the Milwaukee VA system at Zablanki and, and ran across a vet with pretty bad PTSD and offered him guitar lessons and realized that, wow, this is powerful. This vet really got a lot of uh, benefit from this. It really helped him cope with his situation. It really spoke to his soul. And it was the healing power of music that Mike recognized and, and put it together and started the, started the organization. It's a nonprofit organization and they've got uh, the national headquarters is in Milwaukee now. There's over 40 chapters in almost every state and um, there's been over the last 12 years 3,000 uh, guitars given away and 30,000 graduates. So. It's really gotten big and it's continuing to grow. They're, they're starting new chapters every day, so it's, it's really uh, got a lot of momentum. I've been surprised uh, in Qatar's for Vets uh, doing the instruction by a couple of things. One is that well, just about every vet, there's a point in time when the light comes on. So it's either that first chord or maybe that fourth chord or the first lesson or the sixth lesson, but 
all of a sudden the light comes on and they're like, okay, I get this. This is, this is speaking to me. I can make noise with this thing. And uh, the other thing I learned is that I am kind of stuck in a time warp because my first student was a 30-year-old female and I kept trying to teach her songs that I knew and old CCR stuff, you know, uh, Bad Moon Rise and stuff like that. And she's like, I, I, don't, I, I don't know this. I don't get it. And I'm like, well, it's a simple song. Just hang in there. She goes, I've never heard this song. And I'm like, what? Then I looked it up and it was released in the summer of 69, so I pretty much dated myself on that. So she and I learned an Alanis Morissette song together, and uh, that was really fun. And she, she uh, graduated with that song. I like to have the students learn one song in the 10 weeks, but if that's not possible, keep coming back, we'll get you a song. And uh, if you can get more than one in, that's great too. But 10 lessons is just a start. You'll continue to learn guitar the rest of your life. And as we get bigger, we're going to have uh, times when we can bring the graduates back and just have fun playing together and jamming and uh, just having some fellowship that way. So we're looking forward to that as well. This is an easy thing to do. There's really no paperwork, there's no barriers, there's no eligibility criteria or anything like that. If you're a vet and you're interested in playing guitar, throw me an email or get a hold of me through the uh, Facebook site that we'll post and, and we'll make it happen. We've got capacity and we want to teach you guitar and you'll get a lot of benefit out of it. So if you think that you might be interested, take a chance and, and give us a call or, or a message. And if it doesn't work out, that's fine too. There's, there's just no, there's no negative to it that I see. It's just worth a try and you can probably end up get a, getting a lot out of the out of the lessons and out of the knowledge of, of how to play guitar. So don't hesitate, just give us a call and we'll, we'll get you going. I'm really impressed with Guitars for Vets is that the award guitar at the 10th lesson is a nice guitar. That's another thing that would last you for life. So it's a, it almost sounds too good to be true in a way and I can see how people might think that, but it's really um, for vets and, and it's set up so that it doesn't cost anything and it doesn't have a lot of obligation. So feel free to give it a try and we'll, uh, we'll make it a positive experience for you.